the dog and I are stranded outside the Glenorchy swimming pool. We're locked out, we can't get in, and even if we could, there's not much inside the pool now except a small amount of water and a whole lot of green slime. The Glenorchy swimming pool is perhaps closed for good. It's an undetermined result though. Over the years there have been lots of swimming pools in Hobart and most of them have gone away. The thing is that people swim in pools less and less and they swim even less in outdoor swimming pools because people learn to swim in swimming pools. Pools, in that sense, remind us of our childhood. So when a community centre like this goes, people feel correctly that part of their childhood has, in a sense, gone away. But we all go away in the end. The first pools of sorts were saltwater bars built in places like Cornelian Bay. The very first one was in Sandy Bay. That land has been reclaimed now. Further down the river, there was another at Rest Point. The facility was a tourist attraction when the Rest Point Riviera Hotel opened in 1939. An early abandoned design for the Rest Point Casino placed a roof atop the pool. This didn't happen, but the pool did survive the initial construction of the 17 storey hotel tower in 1973, before being demolished for a tennis court. Today it is open lawn. On the high hill of Denoon was the Top of the World Swimming Club. Built on a former dairy farm, the pool opened in 1926. Only 11 metres long, it was used for recreation and education. In the early 90s, it was demolished and subdivided for new houses. In 1938, the Hobart Tepid Bars opened. It was designed by local architect Eric Round, who also created Do Town. The heated water allowed locals to swim all year through. The Department of Education purchased the pool in 1948. Doug Plaster, who would later become the mayor of the capital, convinced the education authorities to introduce a swimming program. It was the start of the Learn to Swim program, which was subsequently introduced across schools all over Australia. The 55-yard pool was also known Amateur House, and then in 1991 was renamed Dr Plaster Aquatic House. It fell out of use though, and became abandoned. Today the location has been converted into apartments. Clarence War Memorial Pool opened in 1962. Uncovered, it had to close in winter. In 1982 the bubble was added. One evening, while filled with people, it ripped open and collapsed. No one was injured. Filled with warm air, it was the only covered Olympic-sized pool in the state. In 2002, the bubble was removed, and in 2004, it reopened with a permanent roof. A couple of years after the 1956 Melbourne Olympics, the Hobart Olympic pool opened. It had Tasmania's first full diving tower. In the middle of the city, with views of the ocean, the pool was a summer hangout. But because it was outdoors, it was to be demolished. On the same ground, Dune Kennedy Hobart Aquatic Centre opened in 1997. Function, defeating charm. A Bigger Splash by David Hockney, 1967. A splash in a Californian swimming pool. The modern house is a controlled environment of refined luxury. But beyond the straight lines of palm trees, enigmatic plants not actually native to Los Angeles, but planted there to look nice. Where there is water, there will always be life creeping in.
you can imagine a few years ago, there have been a few geezers over by the bar having a couple of daiquiris, maybe some bikini babes lounging over in the spa bath. That's all long gone. This house has been abandoned as a home for ages now. Actually, not that long, just a few years. Already nature's taking it back. The whole area is getting turned into a supermarket. That's why it's been left like this. Won't stay this way for too much longer because the bulldozers are gonna come in. But we're here because of this pool. As disgusting as it is, that's an example of yet another pool that's been abandoned. Tasmania is not really suitable for swimming pools, for, you know, just the broader community, but also just in a home because it's so cool. I'm sure kids and stuff like swimming in it, but at the end of the day, it's a massive hassle having a swimming pool. If you're going to have a pool, you probably don't want to have it outdoors. You probably want to have a roof on it and you probably want to have it heated. Probably. There's always an exception. But anyhow, this is what becomes of a once glorious urban oasis. The Glenorchy War Memorial Pool is the last outdoor 50 metre pool in Hobart. Opening in the 60s, it used to have a separate bumper boats pool. It still has a water slide. In 1985, plans were drawn to improve the facility. Instead, everything was neglected. In need of an expensive upgrade, and being used by less than 100 people per day last season, the Glenorchy City Council can no longer allocate the money to keep it running. 18th Dynasty of Egypt, 1350 BC. A garden pool adorns the wall of a tomb, but death is defeated here. The water overflows with life. The straight lines of the pool surrounded by sheltering trees, laden with figs and dates. The water filled with fish, flowers and ducks. Ease and abundance, the best of a mortal life. But it also promises a happy afterlife. For what comes next, we cannot know.